The overarching job of a producer is to go after material that you think is compelling or important or fun or something that you believe should be out in the world for whatever reason. My name is Gigi Pritzker and I am, wow, there's a lot of ways to define me. I am producer of Red Rose's Green Gold and CEO of Madison Wells Media. I really enjoy trying to tell stories in a variety of mediums like Red Rose's Green Gold. We've created an original story and an original show with music in a live setting. When I was young, I was heading down the road to uh, get a master's in anthropology. And then after that, I was going to go live in Asia and go work for a giant NGO. And it was all very well thought out. And that was going to be the plan. And it didn't work out that way. I didn't end up being able to do the master's in uh, anthropology. And I, you know, it felt at the moment like everything came crashing down and it was horrible and my whole plan was falling apart. And oh my God, what was I going to do? And a professor of mine said, you shouldn't get a master's in anthropology anyway, you should go to film school. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know why he told me that. Um, I don't know what he saw, but for some reason this professor said to me, you're too creative, don't get a master's in anthropology, go to film school. And being creative wasn't something anybody had ever said I was. So I thought that, that kind of felt good. One of the key reasons I am where I am right now uh, is a direct result of tenacity. In fact, we were sitting at the dinner table uh, when I was a, a kid, I think I was a teenager, and talking about what adjective describe, describes you best, and my father, I will never forget it, said tenacious. I just don't give up, really. I mean, this project, Red Roses, Green Gold, was four years in the making. I have a film, uh, Ender's Game, I did. It was 15 years. I think there's a flip side to tenacity that, you know, borders on annoying. Um, so I think you have to temper it. Because, you know, just because it's my um, desire or passion or ambition to make this thing happen, you have to figure out how to get people on board for their own reasons. It's, you can't just drive people to something. Um, just because you want to will it into existence. You have to cajole and you have to get people on board with you towards that goal. There are days when I wish I could paint or write so I could just sit somewhere quietly and not talk to a single person for many days, but realistically I am deeply collaborative and so I'm in a field where you need lots and lots of people to achieve what you want to achieve and so I enjoy it. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.